Wisdom Teachings from Archangel Michael, December 2021 World Server Groups of the Future Reconnecting with our White Fire Solar Angels By Rana, Sacred Scribe, Overlighted by Archangel Michael Dearest friends, while I was in preparation to research the information for Archangel Michael's seventh book of messages, The Magic and Majesty of Ascending Humanity, he told me, quote, You have now arrived at a state of consciousness whereby it is important that you begin to relay the wisdom you have garnered from all of the teachings of the past which are now stored within your sacred mind. Therefore, many of the messages and articles to be added in Magic and Majesty are to be your interpretation, and I will oversee your work. End quote. And so in the future, like this one, some of the future messages will be my interpretations with excerpts from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, quote, Beloved Masters, the new group of world servers will be those who are well on their way to self-mastery, this means that those aspirants who have tamed the ego desire body and their soul is now the overlighting director of their future choices in life's direction. They must have gained entrance into the sacred mind and sacred heart and therefore they are attuned to their higher mental and emotional bodies. As a result, they will have a burning desire to serve, to spread the light and the wisdom teachings of cosmic consciousness. Their focus will be on unity consciousness and group interaction instead of an I, me, or my mindset. End quote. There is a special group of white fire angels whose original mission was to overlight groups of souls who were ready to journey out into this sub-universe as co-creator sons and daughters. They helped us to create and maintain our original Adam, Eve, Cadman light body. These wondrous beings were waiting for us within the refined dimensional levels of our God Seed Adam at that incredible time when we first came forth into our individualized I Am Consciousness. After we had refracted our soul essence many times and we moved outward into the two highest dimensional planes of the fourth dimension, our white fire angel withdrew. For those were the lowest levels they could refract themselves to in order to overlight us. They would wait for the time when we would return to those required high frequency levels so that they could once again overlight and assist us in the acceleration of our reunion with our remaining soul fragments. They would also assist us in refining and harmonizing our physical vessels and auric field. The ancient teachings were often written in a way so that the average person could not comprehend the deeper meaning of the messages. Much was written about the time when a soul reached a certain level of enlightenment and initiation, when a great revelation would be given to the aspirants. Those teachings spoke of a solar angel, a sphere of radiant light that would overlight them. They also stated that there would be a stream of light which would emanate from the heart center of the solar angel into the sacred heart and sacred mind of the aspirant. This fiery link would also radiate forth to connect with the many other souls belonging to the same soul group. This was in preparation for the eventual return of unity consciousness within the group. During those ancient times, there were very few souls who reached the required level of vibrational frequency patterns necessary for ascension. However, that has changed. This is a time of mass ascension. Therefore, each solar angel will focus on an entire group, those who are connected to a designated overseer of light for a particular soul family group. In a number of past messages that Archangel Michael has transmitted to me for people over the years, he has stated, quote, We would have you know that you are the earthly overseer of light for your extended heavenly soul family. You and those like you agreed to go through the painful process of sinking into the deepest density of the ancestral family lineage of the physical family you chose to be born into. This was necessary so that as you are lifted up, so are those within your soul group. End quote. This concept is a wonderful validation of the statement, quote, You are in the process of returning to unity consciousness. End quote. Vivio, the white fire angel who came to me in February of 2012, told me that for those of us who are ready to accelerate the process of integrating the multiple facets of our higher self, his task is to assist us to harmonize our frequency patterns to a more refined degree so that the integration process will not be so tumultuous. 
This is necessary for in the past the process of integrating the vibrational patterns of an oversoul, higher self, took a very long time, usually several lifetimes, when we were ready to complete the last phases of the ascension process. There is a failsafe to this process. Those who are attuned to and are following the teachings of Archangel Michael are understandably at many levels and stages of the enlightenment process. Therefore, the connection with Vivio will still be made with all members of the group who are seriously striving to achieve a harmonious level of vibrational patterns. However, he will not send forth a fiery sphere of his essence to overlight you until you have reached and attuned to the required soul song frequencies of the highest fourth dimensional frequencies in preparation to ascend into the entry levels of the fifth dimension. Vivio is androgynous, however, his energy feels masculine. Of course, this wondrous gift and the accompanying rules also apply to many different groups who are following the enlightened wisdom teachings of other great beings of light via the many dedicated messengers around the world. Archangel Michael, quote, As you balance and harmonize your frequency patterns and your soul song moves into a higher octave, you will gradually become acclimated to some of the more refined frequencies of light. At that time, your personal pyramid will automatically move into a higher dimensional level than your work pyramid. Your personal pyramid will also expand in size to accommodate all of the features that will be offered to you as you move deeper and deeper into the higher realms of light. It could be said that your personal pyramid in the fifth dimension will become your personal city of light." End quote. With your mind's eye, Envision three crystal chairs in one of the corners of your personal pyramid. You can always add another chair or more if necessary. One chair is for you and the other two are for the guides and or teachers you will be working with. Sometimes you will have two guides who wish to work with you. Most often it will be one male and one female guide. Between the chairs there is a low crystal table with a violet flame fountain beneath it. This sacred fire constantly radiates waves of violet flame energy around this special seating area. There is a small four-sided pyramid floating over the table. However, it does not have a floor. The bottom is opened. There is a double terminated quartz crystal that fits into the capstone of this pyramid. As with all other pyramids, the top point extends out of the peak of the pyramid and the bottom point hangs slightly above the crystal table. You are to only invite or work with your guides, higher self, or angelic helpers in this pyramid. At the appropriate time, a master or a being of greater light may come to you. However, that will be after a training and integration period. Do not try to rush the process. Be patient and allow everything to unfold at the proper time. This is part of the initiation process. Most probably, you will experience a dark night of the soul process during this time as you harmonize the major portion of your imbalanced frequency patterns. As we have stated before, not everyone is meant to connect with or become messengers of the masters and the beings of light from the higher realms. Those who do so have been in training for many lifetimes. They were chosen and prepared before coming into this incarnation. They had to go through an extensive training period in the higher realms as well as a rigid, difficult testing period during their present lifetime before they were deemed ready to assume their predestined mission. Their special intuitive abilities were stored away in memory seed atoms within their diamond core god cell in their sacred mind. Until the time when he or she has reached the required level of balance and harmony and also has resolved or transmuted a certain amount of their past personal karma, when the appropriate time comes, when you have cleared much of the distortion within your personal column of light, and you have integrated many of the attributes, qualities, and virtues from your higher self, guides, teachers, and angelic helpers, you may begin to receive advanced teachings from the Cosmic Council of Light. In order to do so, you must attain the frequency levels of your higher self in the mental causal plane. Within this great hologram of divinity is a memory seed atom which contains all the gifts, talents, and knowledge that you have attained and perfected during your many lifetimes throughout this sub-universe. Within this hologram is a memory seed atom connecting you with your master teacher. When you make that connection, your life will change dramatically. However, you will only be able to access the cosmic information to which your energetic signature is attuned. In other words, as your soul song, 
rises in frequency to higher and higher levels, you will gain access to more advanced levels of cosmic wisdom. End quote. My master teacher's name is Triton. In the mid-1980s, he appeared to prepare me to become a messenger for Archangel Michael. He sent forth a memory seed atom down through my soul star and into my sacred mind, which connected with and activated another memory seed atom stored there. That is how I became an instant cosmic telepath, and I immediately began to receive messages and pass life information from him. After a time of testing, integration, and attunement, in February 1982, Archangel Michael also sent down and activated the memory seed atom in my sacred mind. From that time onward, my life has been radically different. I have been blessed beyond measure. Archangel Michael, quote, Disciplined, enlightened teachers and counselors are desperately needed during these critical times of mass awakening, and it is imperative that there be a uniformity in the basic teachings of more advanced cosmic laws. Archangel Michael, Quote, As each soul awakens to his or her individualized divine heritage, they will no longer be willing to follow the man-made, restrictive, individualized, controlling rules and regulations designed to ensnare and emotionally enslave the people of the world. Self-mastery and unity consciousness will become the major theme of the mass consciousness belief system in the future. Unconditional love is a love that rises above the limitations and the mass consciousness belief structure of the third, fourth dimensional illusion. Unconditional love is based on the wisdom of your sacred mind and it is radiated purely from the sacred heart for the greatest good of all. It is time to turn inward and to seek the wisdom of your own divine history, beloveds. We are ever near to guide and direct you. We are only a thought away. I am Archangel Mikael. Programming for Mental, Emotional, and Spiritual Abilities Overlighted by Archangel Michael Rana, Sacred Scribe I am now integrating the power of unity and oneness in my connection with the earth and all abundance. I am now integrating the power of passion with spirit as my director. My desire will be to create joy, peace, and prosperity to enjoy and share. I am now activating my personal power center. I am in control of my emotions. I am the master of my desires. I set clearly defined boundaries with an overlay of loving energy. I receive and project only harmonious energy of love, light. I open my heart to the divine flow of spirit and the higher refined frequencies of God light. I am now enhancing my solar power center through the power of communication and self-expression. I will speak my truth with integrity and discernment. I now have total access to the power of my intuitive mind. I have clear insight and I listen attentively to the wisdom of my soul and my higher self. I now have access to my oversoul higher self, and my sacred triad, which are my overlining centers of enlightenment, inspiration, and wisdom. I am now in alignment with my rainbow bridge to unity consciousness. I hereby express my desire and intention to transmute all misqualified energies as I move beyond the law of karma and into a state of grace. So be it, and so it is. Dear hearts, no matter where you are on the path of ascension, know that you will have all the help from your guides and teachers that the universal laws allow. Do not focus on what you are not, but focus on the moment and the opportunities before you. Each and every soul is precious in the sight of our Father Mother God, and your ascension into the higher realms is assured, so please relax and enjoy the journey. Eternal love and angel blessings, Rana.